This is our 20th anniversary, our 20th year. So uh, it is a time of reflection. And as Jonas Salk, Dr. Salk advised me, we have to be able to activate our future memory. First, you just have to have the idea. Each summer, we have these brilliant speakers, and we look at the curriculum from all sorts of directions. Is the context and the way we teach trade and economics leading people to a much better understanding of complex dynamical systems? Microfinancing in developing countries or sustainability issues or new forms of what we call gateway cities, all of those are inherently interdisciplinary. Ni hao ba. Learning never stops. Uh, uh, that's one of the lessons of neuroscience. So we have economists and we have neuroscientists and we have anthropologists and it's just a great mixture and a great way to look at this, this model. We have been uh, engaged on a major project, the improvement of integration for the math domain. What about integration with uh, cultural history? We do eugenics or have done eugenics in the past and how eugenics relates to the social Darwinism movement. I think we'd probably bring in cultural history a good bit. In integrating the mathematics into the, the spiral curriculum, the students will not only understand and learn the mathematics, I think, in a better way than they would often the way it's traditionally taught, but they'll have a better understanding of where mathematics fits in the world. Having people who have had years to be able to decode this curriculum and talk to them about it. We're sending students out into a future in which species are being catastrophically depleted. How do we handle it so they don't leave pessimistically? In 12th grade, we dealt with this, the remarkable nature of, of the human species. And we look at things like prey-predator relationships, and often you get these huge uh, population surges and then crashes. And then if you look at the architecture of how catastrophes are architectonic of larger structures, forests use forest fire, solar systems use supernovas, and, and so it's important to really jump up to the big picture. I think it also goes back to our motto, know thyself in order to serve. We're helping our students see that they can make a difference, that changing behaviors, educating others, getting people to look at it from this larger perspective mm -hmm. is what will help save us and our planet. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. As a teacher, you should always be learning and you should always be growing. Can you define immersion? Oh, yes. What is language immersion? Teach content, that is academic content, social studies, science, mathematics, in both English and Chinese. Here, everybody comes together and there's a cross-fertilization of ideas. There is not really a dominant narrative to a period, and we shouldn't, for the sake of textbook writing, succumb to that there's nothing else going on. There's always a culture and a counterculture, and yeah. there's a dominant narrative. But this is a Japanese abacus called the Soroban. Would you say together Soroban? Soroban. You have studied one Japanese today. <laughs> We're looking at the Soroban, which is a Japanese abacus and a way of doing math and uh, Professor Suzuki is here from Japan to teach us, and it's been so invigorating and so engaging and exciting for us to incorporate that into the lower school math program. This is Miss Nancy, six years old. She is operating Soroban. Four hundred sixty-three. Good. The energy is pulsating, having the opportunity to see this collection of people come together in such great spirit and intellectualism and, and the ability to step back and reflect and look at how do we continue to grow and learn. What I've seen in the 16 years that I've been here uh, is an enormous transformation. You're standing on the spiral path right now, which is the um, inscribed spiral in the Fibonacci Golden ratio. When you uh, blink and realize just how much has been done in 20 years, it's kind of uh, staggering. And it's still uh, evolving, and we're hoping of uh, achieving a significant milestone before the world completely transforms. <laughs>